Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to make his professional mixed martial arts debut, Shamrock FC 338. Tyson, uh, appreciate the time. Uh, looking at your topology, it has been a while. You've, you've been a pro kickboxer. You had some amateur fights, whatnot, but it has certainly been some time since uh, you competed, at least uh, according to your topology. I want to say it was 2016, last uh, topology fight that was listed. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, uh, it was 2017 was my actually last pro kickboxing fight. Uh, I kind of got injured. Uh, but I still train every single day, uh, between COVID, you know, I kind of stepped away from, you know, fighting a little bit. COVID hit, uh, I had a daughter who's seven months now I got married, you know, worked on a job and career and stuff like that. But, you know, I've been kind of itching to get back over to the cage and, you know, now that I'm pro, it's my first pro MMA fight. So it's time to get this show on the road and get my career going. Do you remember the moment that, that, that it started kind of uh, really creeping in when you realized like, man, I, I need to get back in there. Oh, yeah, just, uh, you know, watching people on TV, you know, knowing I'm a fighter myself, being an athlete, and, uh, you know, my goals and my dreams that I have set, I was like, man, I got to get going. Like I said, it's been, I do believe, four years, but like I said, I'm still trained every single day. It's like another job to me, so I'm not going to let that get into my head too much and, you know, tell people don't, you know, kind of don't take that for a mistake. You know, I may have had four years off, but I still train every day. Just like riding a bike, as soon as I get back in there, it's going to come too, and you know, I'm ready to go handle business May 21st. So in terms of your, your combat sports journey, when, when does it start for you? Uh, actually, my first amateur fight was actually 2012. And then, uh, except from there on, I was pretty busy. Uh, Taptology is actually not updated. I actually ended my amateur career. I do believe I was 13 and one. I had three titles, one kickboxing title before I turned pro. And like I said, I jumped over to kickboxing. Uh, I do have wrestling, but I am a stand up fighter. So it's kind of why I jumped over to kickboxing. I do plan on, you know, jumping in the boxing world a little bit. Uh, I want to do it all, stay well-rounded. So, like, do you remember the moment, like, when maybe it was as a kid or a teenager or maybe a young adult when you realized, like, the fight game was meant for you? Oh, yeah. I think just being an athlete, uh, like I said, it was football was first. But I was a kid, you know, as I first started getting into combat sports, uh, I was real young, and, you know, you seeing them guys, you know, it's violent. It's like, man, that, that may not be me, but, you know, as I got older, and you realize it's another sport, and, you know, the things you can learn from it, you know, it's kept me out of trouble. It's kept me disciplined. I've learned a lot, you know, being a fighter. And, uh, like I said, ever since football was over, I was like, okay, i got to give this a shot. You know, I fell in love with it. I said, uh, I remember my first fight, you know, walking out, having the nerves, uh, Winning that, you know, by first round arm bar as my amateur career. Like I said, being a stand up fighter, I actually had six first round submissions during my amateur career. I had a few knockouts. Uh, but, you know, just jumping over to the combat sports, like if I could go back and start a little sooner, I definitely would. Like I said, football was, you know, my come to. But it, it's helped me too, being an athlete, you know, coming from football to MMA, definitely that transition is a little different, but it's, it's, it's helped me in some areas. What's the best attribute you brought from the gridiron to the MMA arena? Uh, I would say just uh, my build, the worth ethic. You know, I mean, football is definitely not, you know, for everybody. Just like fighting is not for everybody. You know, you got you to be tough, you know, hard-nosed. And, you know, coming from football to MMA, you know, being an athlete, the goals, the ambition, the drive I have, it just went from one dream and goal to another. And he said, when I first got into it, I always said, you know, my standard's kind of high and, you know, I'm aiming towards Bellator right now. He's, I know I'm kind of early in my career. It's one fight at a time, but I know I got to get eyes on me and go make a statement, you know, May 21st. You know, I, I'm involved in the football world, and when I when I think about football philosophies and in, and how you kind of look at it and, and relating it to combat sports, you know, because we always talk about there's a game plan. You know, whether we're talking about football game plan or, or mixed martial arts game plan, I think about read and react. Like, I think about if you're a DB going up against a wide receiver, a lot of that is, I mean, obviously, you know what coverage you're going to be in, but a lot of it also is a read and react type mentality. Is that the type of mentality you brought in the combat sports? Yeah, actually, it's funny you say that because I was actually first team uh, all state defensive back. That was my position. And I played a couple years in college, uh, strong safety. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a chess, just like when you get in the cage, you're like you're trying to think ahead, read, react. So I definitely took that with me, um, being able to react quick 
you know, granted wrestling somewhat a little bit different. Like I have wrestling, but you know, when you're tackling people, you still got to kind of have that base, man. And, you know, get low and keep your head up and know what positions to have and, you know, drive and, you know, drive people into the ground. So, you know, that's kind of helped me convert into wrestling and being a strong wrestler too. There was an analogy that was said to me recently, and I wish I would have thought of it a long time ago, but they said mixed martial arts is a puzzle solving business. You got a thousand pieces and you just got to kind of put them together of ultimately how you're going to get the win. Is that kind of a, a thought process to you of, man, there's, there's so many ways a fight can go, but I, I know I could put it all together. Exactly. Yeah. It's somewhat like that. Like I said, it's like chess when you get in there and you're thinking you got to stay ahead of your, your opponent, you know, one stay one step, even two steps ahead. And, uh, I said, I try not to psych myself up, you know, when it comes to a fight, you know, whether I'm fighting a wrestler, another kickboxer, uh, I fight my fight and, you know, put it where I want to put it. And you say this, it's like chess. You got to be quick, think, stay calm, just be one step ahead. And, you know, one mistake from somebody, you know, it's all checkmate and it's over. And, and of course, you got Oscar here at Shamrock FC 338. Uh, he's had three professional fights at this point. Um, as he, Are you a, a big film watcher in terms of, or, or or is it more of a mindset of like you're just trying to get kind of the basic information of, of what he does? Um, somewhat. I, I may check people out here and there. Uh, the only reason why I say I don't get into that, I know a lot of people are big on film. I do check my opponents out time to time, but I don't get too psyched into that i would say because like i said people get injured you know you may come up with the game plan and you know all the way up to weigh-ins people back out people get injured you know people may not make weight i did check him out uh he seems like he's pretty tough you know stand-up fighter which you know i like uh i usually like to do my talking in a cage you know like stay respectful unless you disrespect much disrespect me first but like i said that's my pro mma debut uh he may have more fights than me but you know no disrespect to him, but I got to come put him away in the first. And, you know, like I said, get eyes on me. I got goals uh, to catch, you know, he's standing in front of me, you know, getting to where I need to be, you know, my other paycheck, getting all that. And you know, cause I got a daughter now, you know, he's counting on me, uh, wife. So, you know, when I get in there, it's not going to be, you know, fun and games. I know to have fun with it, but it's going to be time to handle business. As you think about your advantages in this fight that you feel you have, is one of those advantages of, he doesn't have, he has not seen what I've been working on the past four and a half years. Do, do you view that as potentially an advantage for you? Uh, I would say, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I've seen some of the guys he's fought that, you know, he took a, a loss from that come from pretty solid gyms. I believe I have a pretty solid gym. You know, I cross train at some solid gyms. Uh, I do know, you know, just listen, listening to other commentators and watching his fights, um, I'm going to put this fight where I want it. I know he kind of don't have strong wrestling defense i'm just seeing him get taken down pretty easy uh seen him get submitted a lot uh i do believe he kind of got knocked out uh put away you know in his most recent fight um i said i know he's a stand-up fighter uh, i believe i'm gonna have the wrestling advantage uh strength advantage speed uh height advantage for sure um I do believe he may be five five i'm five ten um my diet's going pretty good i know he seems like a pretty strong compact guy but like i believe i'm a big 55er i started cutting from 191 which I walk around about 190, but uh, they I seen Shamrock FC. They talked about fight of the night potential, but I'm coming for knockout of the night. You know, I say I want to get in, and you know that's my mindset as a pro MMA fighter. I want to put guys away and finish fights, and you know that's what I'm coming to do May 21st. Uh, final thing, I saw an Instagram post where you were talking about this fight, and, and part of that post was this fight is dedicated to your grandmother. Uh, um, go ahead, sorry about can, that. Can you kind of talk about why uh, this fight's dedicated to her? Uh, yeah, that's another, uh, you know, another, you know, feel to my fire right now, you know, besides my daughter, my grandma was, was a big supporter. I lost her not too long ago. She was like my mom, you know, raised me, you know, ever since I was a kid, I, you know, still today, grandma's boy, uh, I'm big on my faith and, you know, you know, believing in things. And, uh, my grandma would always just talk to strangers. She would always watch me on YouTube. My little nieces and nephews would be in there with her, with her you know, watching me and, uh, now she was actually there at my pro MMA kick or pro kickboxing debut where, you know, I knocked out my opponent in the second round. And, you know, I looked over and it's like my grandma was almost in the cage. She was like, so excited and, you know, amped up. And, you know, to be in her 60s, like that's before old lady, she was pretty hyped up. And, you know, I, I know she'd love to be there. So, you know, despite, you know, everything I have going on, getting in there, my pro MMA debut, you know, wanting to finish this fight. Uh, this fight's dedicated to her. So, you know, that's another big 
drive and you know push I have right now, and I can't let nobody take that from me because it's dedicated to her. And, of course, we look forward to seeing this fight here, your pro debut here, Shamrock FC 338. Tyson, uh, appreciate time. Of course, let me know that you can follow you on social media. Anything else you want to mention, man? Um, you know, just tell people, follow me on Facebook. Uh, you know, watch my workouts. You know, I'm trying to get eyes on me. I know I'm early. Like I said, I'm just getting started. But, you know, give me time. I'm going to get to where I want to be. I know I have all the tools, the worth ethic. It's just about grinding my way there. And, you know, I promise to be one of those exciting fighters. You know, I may not have an undefeated record, but, you know, I told myself I'd rather be an exciting fighter, you know, you know, maybe have a loss here and there than be a boring fighter and be undefeated. So I will make sure, you know, I give people their money's worth, but I'm going to come put it away in the first 